to distract attention from a week of political chaos in Downing Street. It worked. Whether it will help end the deadly channel crossings is less clear. The scheme will see potentially tens of thousands of people who arrive on boats and lorries given a one-way ticket to Rwanda, a country in Africa which came to the world's attention with the genocide in 1994. It is intended to deter people desperate to get to the UK and also scupper the people smugglers who prey on them. Our political correspondent Liz Bates reports. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Having been on the defensive after breaking the law over the Downing Street parties, today the Prime Minister went on the attack. His target, illegal immigrants, who could, under a new plan, get a one-way ticket to Rwanda. Our compassion may be infinite, but our capacity to help people is not. We can't ask the British taxpayer to write a blank cheque to cover the costs of anyone who might want to come and live here. Maybe with the local elections in mind, he leaned into law. Stay saying he would stay connected. channel you are here with us on tv subscribe to the channel today if today is your first day and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that every time i come here with a content you will also not miss it at all as i know we are killing two birds with one stone meaning that we are aiming to do different type of programs on this channel and today is also one of them and i have new story concerning the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and the President Gaddafi. In relation to the asylum seeking, basically, Prime Minister Boris Johnson don't want the asylum seekers in this country. So in other words, he is trying to get rid of them. And President Gaddafi is also saying that if you want to get rid of the asylum seekers and they don't have anywhere to go, then I will take them in. So that is what's actually happening. But let me tell you the history between UK and Rwanda. President Gaddafi has been accused of genocide and so many um, unlawful stuff um, based on human rights. That accusation came from the United Kingdom accusing President Gaddafi for doing such atrocities. So he's been interviewed quite a few times about that kind of thing. That kind of a thing relating to the genocide and the killing of other people and then whom other people and things like that. So they've been accused. But the question is, so I would say that the relationship between Rwanda and United United Kingdom wasn't really that strong because the United Kingdom is a country where um, they, they seem to be on the right side in the sense where if you're a prominent person and you, you mess up, you do any sort of dirty, dodgy stuff or whatever, they will show you out. So the question is, if President Gaddafi was doing those things that he was accused of doing then the question is britain shouldn't be trading or sending asylum seeking to the country where they think that this Gaddafi, um, Gaddafi, president Gaddafi, is genociding people so i feel like you know president Gaddafi perhaps might be pushed to the corner in order to accept those asylum seekers in this country because he has already been accused and the same people that's accusing you are now asking them asking you to do them a favor and a favor is a favor that he cannot refuse because maybe if he takes this asylum seeking seekers people in it they'll stop the accusation they'll say that he's a good person now he has changed he has transformed and things like that so the question is 
what is going on. Why is Prime Minister Boris Johnson want to get rid of the asylum seekers in this country? That's also another point. I think Boris Johnson himself hasn't really been uh, in a good face with uh, the British public, uh, in a sense, based on the COVID-19 issues, restrictions, and things like that, where he, uh, of course, he told everybody to stay in while he was out. Things. So it's been, it's been a big thing there. And I think he has actually lost face of it. So tackling the asylum seeking is actually really a good, a good, a good political, political point for him to do that because, number one, he has a point. The point that he has is people are actually that those asylum seekers in the country they are actually coming from across the sea from different, different, different kind of uh, places in Africa, and we've heard stories about people uh, that went through that kind of journey that has actually died so many people especially with the Ghanaian youtube a lot of people come up and said okay oh i traveled through across the sea and this is what i went through a lot of people come and share their testimonies and what it went through across the sea and things like that and of course it's still going on today where people have been abused people have been killed people have been good for just trying to go to another country so the question is why are people still trying so he has a point and you know even if it's uh he he he's justified in a way for trying to stop people uh, from, from, from coming fr across the sea into the country because it's dangerous. So he's justified, you know. But anyway, at the end of the day, it's all politics. It's all politics, I didn't, you know, but I, I'll say this, that um, uh, President uh, Gaddafi is in a very tight corner receiving them. and. Uh, at the end of the day, of course, it's both sides, whether he's in the tight corner uh, and is the reason why he's he's receiving those asylum seekers in there based on the fact that he's been accused before. So he feel like he, he, he will give him the right name and wipe up the right name. But the question is, does he know the kind of people that he's taking in? Does he know the kind of people that he's taking in? That's also another people because you're taking another people into your country that you don't even know. So um, I'm sure he has plans. You know, he probably has plans to... Um, to execute i think the other plan is of course he's been there's always going to be money transactions between uh um the prime minister of uh, united kingdom and of course president Gaddafi, because of course there has to be money involved also you know he has to work his while you know in the thing so um, but the, the other thing is uh, is uh, britain is britain also willing to keep on paying uh, um, um Gaddafi for skipping them because it looks like it's going to be an ongoing thing where we're just going to be sweeping out the asylum seekers uh, into into uh, Rwanda, and of course, it's not going to be free. So, is Britain also willing to be paying that kind of amount, or maybe they're thinking about long term that maybe it's better long term for them to be doing that than maybe keeping them in there? Because remember, when the asylum seekers also stay in the country of Britain, of course, they also become Britain responsibility, and they have to feed them, they have to clothe them. So, it's just a, it's just a matter of human rights, basically, also because uh, remember. A lot of people has also stayed in the, you know, in the United Kingdom for quite a while. You know, have families, the children are going to school. They're doing everything there in the country. So, I mean, to to uproot them and bring them to a country, unknown country, which is one that can also be a thing. So it's just that yeah, I'm sure um, Boris Johnson will probably just uh, be um, considerate, of course, and look in, reading between. You know, he's justified by stopping people from crossing that sea. You know, and, and that's the fact because it's dangerous. You know. Um, the MMA uh, superstar, uh, what's his name? Uh, Francis, uh, Francis in, in going on, of course, I mean, he, his story is the same, similar story. He's, he's, he talked about how, how people died uh, in that in that Mediterranean Sea or whatever, in order to, you know, to go to another country. So it, he's justified for doing that. But the thing is, I mean, it, you know, somebody will say, say, and don't turn if you have one from our home. So as in Tonto Penance Fiapo, so it's a very, very good political point for him. Because number one, he, he he wants to use that to clear his face, of course, among the people because it's dangerous. People are dying. Plus, the people don't want the people in the country in the first place, and that's a fact. So anyway, let me know what you think about this thing. My name is Kwan Ashan TV. Okay, subscribe to this channel if you're new here. You you get more of us as time uh, goes on, and um, I'll catch you on the on the next time welcome to my channel
You're here. Take back control of Britain's borders and criticising any lawyers who might get in his way. We expect this will be challenged in the courts. And if this country is seen as a soft touch for illegal migration by some of our partners, it is precisely because we have such a formidable army of politically motivated lawyers who for years have made it their business to thwart removals and frustrate the government. He also dismissed concerns over Rwanda's record on human rights. Rwanda is one of the safest countries in the world, globally recognised for its record on welcoming and integrating migrants. Under a new scheme